Vegan cooking is really fun for me. I'm really enjoying the creativity that comes along with putting a twist on classic dishes that are approachable by everybody, but eliminating any animal byproduct. I'm excited to share this tasting menu, showcasing cottonseed oil in so many versatile ways. Cottonseed oil is perfect because it has a high smoke point for frying and for sauteing, and it's good for baking and vinaigrettes because it has a very neutral flavor. For the first dish, I fried my leek rings in a delicate tempura batter that was made with an egg replacer. This tempura batter is very light and flaky and crisp, and this oil allows it not to become heavy. Instead of coming out with a really heavy aioli, using the cottonseed oil with the avocado allows you to really take on all the flavors, the essence of the avocado, the lemon juice, the Dijon. It's really light, aromatic, and you taste all the delicate flavors. For the next course, the mini Jamaica tostadas. The Jamaica flowers are rinsed until the water runs clear. That removes the bitterness from the flour. Then I saute in cottonseed oil with onions, garlic, ancho chili, and a little bit of seasoning. The dish is served with a sunflower crema topped with cilantro and radish and Aleppo pepper. Jamaica may seem unusual to be using as a mock meat substitute, but it's a perfect texture you can build on with whatever flavor profiles you would like. This is a vegan kale Caesar salad. I sear the bread with cottonseed oil to get a perfect crust, finishing it in the broiler with nut-based Parmesan cheese. This is one of my favorite dressings. I love making a play on a classic. We bring in the fresh lemon juice, Dijon, garlic, nutritional yeast, which brings in that cheesy Parmesan taste. Nori to add a little bit of that umami anchovy flavor and a cottonseed oil, just to bring it all together. Using the cottonseed oil allows a very smooth, silky mouthfeel and all the aromatics to bloom. I top the salad with mustard flowers, marinated red onions, and nut-based Parmesan cheese. This is fried polenta with lion's mane and mataki mushrooms. I marinated lion's mane mushroom and mataki mushrooms in fresh garlic, cottonseed oil, and oregano. I made a rosemary polenta cake, chilled that overnight and cut that, skewered it and fried it in cottonseed oil. This gives you a really crispy, clean polenta bite. I infused cottonseed oil with raspberries, making a raspberry oil. I made that into a raspberry rosemary vinaigrette. I tossed shaved purple cabbage and baby arugula for the garnish. I garnish with raspberry dust and fresh raspberries just to bring all the flavor profiles together. This is one of my favorite plays on a waffle. This pumpkin vegan waffle is phenomenal. I paired it with a whipped cashew maple custard. I garnished with powdered sugar, kumquat berry compote, and molasses crystals. This dish may sound heavy when you think of waffles. This dish is not that at all. It's light, airy, and crisp. The cottonseed oil allows for that texture to take place. These dishes showcase how you can use cottonseed oil in a beautiful, light, bright tasting menu.